Hi everyone, The Simple Dad here. So the S Pen isn't just a stylus, it's your Galaxy S25 Ultra's secret weapon. Hidden beneath the surface are features that most users never tap into. Whether you're into smart shortcuts, AI tricks, or creative tools, these 10 hidden S Pen features will blow your mind and change the way you use your phone. So let's begin. So before we start, today we'll be looking into an app called Good Lock. And this app called Good Lock will give us all the features for this video. So to download Good Lock, you want to go ahead and search for the store, which is the Samsung store. Now from here, you want to go ahead and tap on search. And you're searching for Good Lock. Here, you want to go ahead and make sure you download this app. So feature number one is where you can basically change the S command menu. So if you use your S Pen quite regularly and you want to change this menu, then let me show you how to do this. So first you need to go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. Search for Good Lock. Here you need to go ahead and download the app called Pentastic. Looks like that. Tap on it. Now from here you can go ahead and change the air command. So as you can see, this is a default air command, which looks like this. However, if you swipe left, you'll get all these different types of air command. So you can get a line shape air command. You can get the circle shape air command or you can get a retro shape air command. So let's go ahead and choose the circle air command, tap on it. From here, we can go ahead and choose the background. We can go ahead and choose the background from our wallpaper. We can go ahead and choose the brightness of our background. And we can also configure the blur of the background. So once you're happy with that, tap use, and now press home. And now when you bring out the air command, you'll see your air command in a circle shape and you can basically use all the apps on your air command. So there you go guys, that is how to change the air command menu on your Samsung S25 Ultra. Now feature number two is where you can basically change the pointer icon. So as you can see, currently your pointer icon is like a small dot. However, you cannot see it very clearly. So to change this pointer, you can go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. From here, you wanna go ahead and download this app called Pentastic. Tap on this. And now you want to go ahead and scroll down until you see the pointer section. So here currently default is this. However, you can go ahead and choose basic. You can change the size of the pointer. Tap use. And as you can see, your pointer has now grown in size. If you don't like the basic arrow, you can go ahead and choose heart. You can choose different characters. You can also go ahead and choose your own custom picture from your gallery. You can also choose mark hover point, so you can have an arrow with it. So we'll go ahead and tap on use and press home. And now wherever you hover your S Pen on, you'll see that pointer change to your desired pointer icon. Now the next feature which I wanna talk about is feature number three, where you can change the sound for your pointer. So when you point on screen, you basically make certain noises with your S Pen. However, you can go ahead and change this using the Pentastic app. So again, you need to go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. From here, find Pentastic, open that. And now you wanna go ahead and scroll down until you see sound. And now here you have the default sound. If you swipe left, you'll have different sounds. Or you can have your own custom sound. Tap use to use that sound. Now the next feature which I wanna talk about is feature number four, where you can basically turn on the double tap to open the app on S Pen. So you can basically have a dedicated double tap action to open a certain app. So to do this, you wanna go ahead and open up the Good Lock app first. Next, go ahead and open up Pentastic. Now from here, you wanna go ahead and scroll down until you see double tap shortcut. You can choose what happens when you hold down the pen button and double tap the screen. So go ahead and tap on this. Go ahead and turn this feature on and you can go ahead and set a dedicated action to it. So let's just say we'll go ahead and open up Camera Assistant when we do this. So press Home. Now when we press the S Pen and we double tap on the screen, we open up Camera Assistant. So this way you'll be able to open up apps quickly using your S Pen. Now the next feature which I wanna talk about is feature number five, where you can see preview photos using the S Pen. So say for example, if you open up the Gallery app, and you want to preview a photo. So for example, this one here, you can go ahead and hold it and this will give you a preview of what actually you're pointing at. So to enable this, you want to go ahead and bring down the notification bar, tap on settings. From here, you want to go ahead and scroll down 
until you see advanced features. From here, find S Pen. And now here you want to go ahead and turn on this feature called Air View. If you turn it on, go ahead and tap on this. And you want to make sure you can see preview and the pointer. So if you only put down pointer, you won't be able to see the preview. If you put down preview only, you'll see the preview, however, no pointer. So I would suggest you choose preview and pointers, then tap home. And now when you go to your gallery and you hover over the image, you can go ahead and see a preview of it. Now, the next feature which I want to talk about is feature number six, where you can create perfect shapes on your Samsung Note. So say for example, if you're into note taking and you're creating some shapes on your Samsung Note, so to create perfect shapes, go ahead and use your S Pen, go ahead and draw a circle and then hold it there and then it becomes a circle. Again, a triangle, hold it there and it becomes a triangle, a square, a rectangle. Now the second way of making perfect shapes is by using this option here on the bottom where you have this option to create auto fix shapes. So turn that feature on and now when you draw a shape, it'll fix it for you. So with this feature, you can basically create perfect shapes every time on your Samsung Note. So the next feature which I want to talk about is feature number seven, where you can basically write on calendar with your S Pen. So to write on your calendar with your S Pen, go ahead and bring out the S Pen, go ahead and tap on the air command. Here you'll find write on calendar option. If you don't see this option, you can go ahead and tap on the plus sign. You can go ahead and add the write on calendar option, which looks like that. Go ahead and add it to your air command. Now go ahead and open the air command, tap on write on calendar. And now here you can go ahead and write on your calendar itself. So let's say you want to mark some holidays. So here I'll mark an holiday by X. Let's say I'm going to a trip. And let's just say this is a cricket match. I'll put on C, can put a few smiley faces. And now once you're happy, you can press save. And now if you press home and you open up your calendar app, you'll see that marking on that month, which you've made using your S Pen. Now the next feature which I want to talk about is feature number eight, where you can basically translate using your S Pen. So if you're browsing on your Samsung S25 Ultra with your S Pen, you can basically translate what you're watching on the internet. So go ahead and open up the internet browser here. Let's say for example, I have this text, go ahead and tap on the air command tap on AI select. So now it's selected the text, go ahead and tap on translate. This will now translate all the text from Spanish to English. So like this, this will basically make your life easier with translating text online. Now the next feature which I want to talk about is where you can basically take notes while watching a video. So let's say, for example, this video was a PowerPoint presentation of all your notes and you want to take some notes from this video and add it to your Samsung notes. So first you want to go ahead and open up the air command, go ahead and open your notes. Now from here, you want to go ahead and make it full screen. Next, you want to go ahead and open up the app switcher, go ahead and hold the notes and then go ahead and drag it to the bottom. Now you want to go ahead and choose the video player and leave it at the top. You can go ahead and press play and you can make your notes here. So this is really great as you can watch the video and also make your notes here. If you want to rewind or you want to fast forward, you can also do that. Now the next feature which I want to talk about is where you can change your handwriting note to text. So with Samsung note, you can change whatever you've written with your S Pen into text. So let me show you how to do this. So first we'll go ahead and open up the Samsung note. We'll go ahead and create a new note. Now from here at the bottom, we'll go ahead and find an option S Pen to text. So this is what we're finding S Pen to text. Go ahead and turn this feature on. Now you want to go ahead and write in all the words. So I'll put down. And as you can see, it has changed that S Pen and writing into text. So instead of keyboard writing, you can go ahead and use your S Pen and convert all your handwriting into text and make your notes 
on your Samsung notes. So there you go guys, the S Pen isn't just a stylus, it's your Galaxy S25 Ultra's secret weapon. Hopefully the 10 hidden features on your S Pen which I've shown you today will blow your mind and change the way you use your phone. So if you found this helpful, please don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more tips and tricks, and I'll catch you in the next one.